Good morning students. In the previous video, we see the meaning of the numbers having the index in a rational form 1 by n. In this video, we see the meaning of numbers having index in the rational form m by n. For this, we take one example. We know how to write down the square. Let we take example 8 square equal to 64. So we did as square of 8 is 64. And also we want to write the cube root. Cube root of 64. We write down like that. 64 to the power 1 by 3 is equal to 4. So in this 64, instead of this 64, we write down 8 square. So we write down 8 square to the power 1 by 3 is equal to 4. So, in this, in the words, we can write cube root of square of 8 is 4. This is our equation number 1. So, outer side of the bracket, those numbers we write down first name. Cube root of square of square inside the bracket. So, you write down after the outside number. Square of 8 is 4. Similarly, cube root of 8 is we can write down 8 to the power 1 by 3 is equal to 4. And cube root of 8 is sorry 2. Cube root of 8 is 2. And we know that 2 square is 4. So, we write down, instead of this 2, we can write down 8 to the power 1 by 3. 8 to the power 1 by 3 bracket square is equal to 4. Only this 2, we express as 8 to the power 1 by 3. In the word, we can write down this is the outer side of the bracket. So, we write down the first name of this index square of inside the 1 by 3 means third root means cube root. So, we write down cube root of 8 is 4. This is our equation number 2. From equation 1 and 2, We can write this, both are the answer same, 4, 4. So, right side is the same, means left side also same. So, we write down cube root of square of 8. Cube root of square of 8 is 4 equal to square of cube root square of Cube root of 8 is 4. In the numerical, we can write down 8 cube root of square means this is the first name of the side of the bracket is equal to square of cube root of 8. So from this example, we can write down like that. And by this, we know our rule of indices a raised to power m bracket to the power n is equal to a raised to power n bracket to the power m. This is our indices rule. From this, we can write down this index m by n. Generally, we write down for the nth root a raised to power m by n implies that a raised to power m to the power 1 by n is equal to a raised to power 1 by n to the power m. In the words, we can express as nth root nth root of mth power power of A is equal to mf power of 
law and a rule of a number a so from this only you one thing remember this those are the outer side of the bracket in this first write down that name nth root of mx power a if the m is outer side of the bracket so you write down first mx power of nth root of a okay now we start practice it 3.2 question number 1 complete the following table in this table we we have the some numbers and their powers we write in the words For example 1 225 to the power 3 by 2 so in this first box we write out first power and then the root always you understand this denominator is the root and numerator is the power here power is 3 so we write down Q of in the denominator there is 2 so we express as 2 square root Q of square root of 225 in the another uh, box root of the power so you exchange this name only first you write down root and then the power so we write down it is very easy we write down square root of cube of 225 <clears throat> our next example is 45 to the power 4 by 5 numerator is the power here is 4 so we write down 4th power 4th power of 5th root of 45 opposite 5th root of 4th power of 45 root of fourth power of forty five. Next example eighty one to the power six by seven. <coughs> so sixth power of seventh root of Eighty-one. In this box, we write down first root, seventh root of sixth power of eighty-one. For the example, hundred to the power four by ten. 4th power of 10th root of 100 <coughs> opposite 10th root of 4th power of 100. Next, 21 to the power 3 by 7. 3 we express as cube. So, we write down cube of 7th root of 21. In another box, 7th root of 
Now we see question number 2. Write the following numbers in the form of rational indices. Now they, are, they give us in words. We write down the rational indices. Square root of fifth power of 121. So we know that the root is in the denominator and power is in the numerator. So we write down square root. Square means 2. Fifth power. Fifth means 5. So we write down first this number 121 to the power. Fifth power. Power in the numerator and root in the denominator. So 5 by 2. This is our answer. Next, cube of fourth root of 324. You first write down this number 324 to the power. Root is in the numerator and cube of, cube means 3. So 3 by fourth root. This is our answer. Third example is fifth root of square of 264. So first you write down this number 264 to the power. This is the fifth root. Root in the denominator. Square means 2. In the numerator 2 by 5. This is our answer. Last example. Cube of cube root of 3. Cube means 3. Cube root also 3. And base is also 3. So we write down 3 to the power 3 by 3. Okay, student.